Hello, welcome to this part of our tutorial. We want to um, want to show you how how you can perform sensitivity analysis. So we'll just be brief and straight to the point. Here we have a model where um, with the following properties: the absolute open flow potential of this model is nine thousand and eighty-two point six barrel. The skin is zero. Okay. Okay, even an information PI is 4.12. Okay, but the skin there is very unreliable, and the water cut is zero. We are not sure of this value. Actually, we modeled this, and um, we do not have an actual measurement for the skin, so we had to just put zero there. Now, we would want to perform sensitivity on this and check what will be the effect of the skin what if the skin increases what effect will it have on a production from this model and also on the pressure let's look at this again the reservoir pressure is 3450 and the reservoir temperature is just 860 that's pretty low so let's look at what will be the overall effect if these factors actually change what will happen to our model so that's what we call sensitivity analysis when you test certain factors and you check the effects they will have either as individual in, um, parameters or as a collection of parameters so let's quickly use something small okay, we are going to use a system IPR and VLP and after that I'll use I'll use the three variables first and after that we'll check out to use the four variables and maybe the multi variable the multi variable so let's start from there. So we use this the top of the pressure is 125, water code 0 and GR 560. Let's allow that to be there. Now this is the screen. Remember we used three variables, so we have variable one, two, and three. If you're using four, then you have another one here, four. And if you're using multi, that means the more than four. That's when you use the multi-variable. That's you can choose as many variables as you want as many variables as you think may affect your system or the variables you actually want to investigate so for this one we want to investigate the skin and um, which other one the water pot and perhaps maybe the pressure the pressure you could just set these values okay you can clear the data here the generic ones now the skin, we add a skin of zero, so let me just generate add a skin of zero. But I'm looking at what if the skin is not actually zero. What if let's check for skin between zero and ten? <coughs> okay, so we're using linear spacing. So if I generate this, oh sorry, number of values should be about ten. Okay, so I just use that and what did I do? I'm supposed to generate. Okay, so that's all we have for the skin. <coughs> let's make it more. Let's start from one. Uh, I want to have linear spacing something, uh, something like this beta. For my water cut, let's start from water cut of 0 to 100 and maybe that. The same thing. Okay. Uh, let's look at your pressure. The pressure starts on this value. So what if it reduces to something like this? And we're using, okay, let's say it reduces to 8000 psig. And we're using geometric spacing because we want to cover a wide range of pressure. So let's not use a linear or step, simple percent of that. I think the geometric spacing is better. Okay, but first of all, let's look at the effect of, okay, yeah, let's continue. So if I calculate this, so these will be from the necessary calculations and you look at the screen, you look at this point, you see it's first investigating skin at one, what I got at this and this, once it done with this to change, okay, like that. So for all the three variables which we were actually investigating. So we'll look at that later on after the calculation is finished. So for now, let's just pass. Okay, hello. Okay, so if you look at the screen, the calculation is completed. So let's continue. The calculation is complete at this point. So we could just um, 
let's look at the effect of this let's start from here when the skin is 1 and the water cut is 0 and the reservoir pressure is 1000 there is no production because you see everything here is blank let's look at when the reservoir pressure is 1147 no production continue looking so production starts when the reservoir pressure is 1511 and the skin is 1 and water cut is 0 and of course the oil rate is very small 655.2 stock ton barrels per day and it increases as the pressure increases so it means as the pressure increases the production also increases of course that should be what it should be now the ice pressure um, at the reservoir pressure of 3450 and a skin of 1 and a water cut of 0 we have a rate of 6262 let's see what happens when the water cut increases water cut increases to this and production declines as expected now let's also look at what happens to when the pressure reduces production also declines keep, keep an eye on the oil rates production also declines okay so now when the water cord increases production declines further when the water cord increases production declines further production declines so with increase in water cord we have a decrease in production so at a water cord of 100 there is no oil production we have a liquid rate of this because we're producing all through water okay so that's that now the the okay let's look at the skin too as the skin increases let's give the water cut at zero as the skin increases production is also declining production declines at the skin of 10 we have or production of 3529.3 and let's look at something let's look at this using plots system plot of course you see how messy this diagram looks like okay so let's choose the variables we actually want to plot we are looking for the VLP IPR and VLP and we want to look at the best production rates to produce that's what we call sensitive analysis what is the best production rate? taking all these factors into consideration as the best production rate let's look at oil rates and non liquid rates we are not interested in water because in this part of the world water is actually waste so we don't need to produce water so let's look at the oil rates specifically I want to look at I'm more interested in a skin of 22 okay, that's what I want to look at anyway, let's look, allow all this to be let's say we'll never get a pressure as low as this our pressure range should be about 2000 and the skins are possible so let's look at that the plaster looks messy if you use the strength here oh sorry for that let's return that please let's look at that again okay so we notice this is zero nine zero zero nine so that is zero um that's a skin of zero um, a water cut of zero the reservoir pressure of that that's why we have the highest production and you see the production declines with all other factors so if you're looking for maximum production then it should be the best condition let's imagine that we actually made this thing we made investigation and we discovered our skin is actually five that our skin is five and not all these other ones and then the reservoir pressure we are envisaging is to stop at this anything lower than this then we do we go for secondary recovery uh, pressure maintenance which involves water injection or gas injection or whatever and then we are looking at um, water cut of um, water cut of ice 55% anything above that we close down the well 
So we say this file once you produce up to this outer cut, we close you down. Anything above that is not accepted. So let's look at these conditions. Then that will be less messy. Okay. So we'll see what will produce the flow rate at each point in time. At each point, and we know what effect this will have, and um, this will give us informed information as to the form of second recovery or tissue recovery we should plan for in order to maximize production from this well. So these are the things we do when we say sensitive analysis. We, we actually test, we look at the different factors that will affect and how they will affect our production. And this will help us to choose what combination of factors we have to do, um, what combination of variables, what factors or what values we should have for these variables in order to maximize or minim maximize production or minimize production problems. Anyway, that's just all about sensitivity analysis. Thank you very much for watching. If there are any questions, don't hesitate to drop it and please don't forget to subscribe after watching this tutorial. If they're informative, please like the video and um, thank you very much.